we not do. like New York City. <laughs> we're like or, old ladies, like, where are we again? Let's just go around the block one more time. Yeah, and it's not bad like downtown LA. Like, this is downtown Pasadena, so it is much, much more chill and relaxed. Hi, we're Crystal and Candy of Travel Pockets. We're sisters who are half American and half Japanese, and we love to travel the world in style. We grew up as military brats, so we're used to moving from place to place. That's why we love traveling so much. Dos, tres, cuatro. We post videos weekly and would love for you to subscribe to our channel. Follow us along on all of our adventures. coffee shop called Coffee and Plants. We got here first thing in the morning when they opened at, I believe they opened at 8 o'clock. That's yeah. when we got here. They yeah. opened at 8. Uh, but we brought the dogs here because it's dog friendly. Um, even this town is old Pasadena, right? It is a dog friendly town. Yes. Um, so they have a lot of establishments where you can bring your dog with you. So it's perfect for us because if you've been watching our videos, we love bringing our dogs everywhere with us. <laughs> Yeah, um, and they're, they're, they even had already got the water bowl out for the dogs, <laughs> so that was really nice. And I know they just opened, so I knew the water was fresh. <laughs> oh yeah, and then Captain Candy's new puppy loves water, he loves like water. obsessed with water. <laughs> so he was like, "Oh my gosh, this is heaven! It's water!" And he's already like been back to that pool like several times. So it's just water. He's very it's just easy. water. It's very easy to entertain <laughs> or please. Yeah. But this uh, coffee shop is super adorable. Everything is kind of like a pink theme. Pink theme with green, obviously for the plants. Yeah. yeah. And as the name implies, uh, coffee and plants, there's plants here too. And you can also purchase plants here. Yeah, it's and like they little... have really cute plants in the pink planters, which is so cute. If I lived here, I would definitely buy some. And it's one of those things you're yeah. just like, it's so tiny and cute, I gotta buy it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's really nicely decorated. They have lots of photo ops around here too for you and your dogs. Yeah, and there's space to sit both indoors and outdoors. But we obviously, we have the pups with us, so we sat outdoors. And it's in a beautifully um, shaded area. Um, even It's like in an alley. Yeah. So we kind of missed it when we first um, mm -hmm. drove by. We're like, where is it? So we did another, um, we had to turn around because it's a one-way street. And finally, I was like looking into the uh, alleys and it was inside the alley, nice and shaded. Because right now it's like super sunny and it's summer. Um, so if we were in the sun, I think we'd be dying right now. So oh, this yeah. is fantastic that it's like in a nice shaded alley. And the alleys are pretty wide, so you don't feel like really like claustrophobic, I guess. Like if you're not into like sitting in alleys. <laughs> yeah, no, it's nice. Um, it's not too crowded. Uh, right now it's what? It's 9 o'clock. So it's been open for an hour. Uh, they have I'll, a steady flow of people. Yeah, yeah, they do. It's very popular, I think, for, you know, a weekday. Oops, Ooh. the table. That's our table. <laughs> Gotta mention parking because they do have street parking, but it's metered parking and you have to use coins. Yeah, it's old school metered parking. Apparently in Pasadena, Old Town Pasadena, they did not change this, so you still have to use yeah. coins to pay for street parking. Yeah, like in the main area where the shopping area is, there are credit card operated street parking, but well, it looks like in this area still, like on the edge of Old Town, they still haven't changed that. So if you bring coins, you will have plenty of parking around here. Yeah. Um, so definitely bring coins if you have coins. <laughs> if you don't, like us, then they do have public parking garages, but they're kind of expensive. Uh, the one that was near here was two dollars every 15 minutes and i was like oh no i'm not paying that. which is pretty hefty uh so then we drove around and there's another one just like a block or two down that was a dollar for every 20 minutes a little bit more reasonable <laughs> but the max was like eight dollars yeah yeah so the other one the max was much higher yeah <laughs> So yeah, just remember to bring coins with you if you want to do some street parking here. But you know, that's kind of like any downtown area you go to, parking is always a thing that's a little bit tricky, but Pasadena is pretty 
good about public parking garages. Yeah. There's quite a bit around several corners. So if you kind of drive around and shop around for the best of parking garage space, like you'll, yeah, that's what we do. We kind of look for Yeah, and it's very park. chill. It's not yeah. very busy, so you can it's take your hectic. time. Yeah. <laughs> it's not It's not like do. New York City. <laughs> or like or, old ladies, like, where are we again? Let's just go around the block one more time. Yeah, and it's not bad like downtown LA. Like this is downtown Pasadena, so it is much, much more chill and relaxed. Yeah. As far as their menu, they, it's mostly coffees and teas, and um, they do have a puppuccino. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. look, she wants she the attention, attention so bad. Aww. So sweet. Aww. 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 Oh, you lucky dog, you. Aren't you glad you came, Zoe? <laughs> All right, so while we were talking, we had to like pause for a moment because we actually just met the owner of Coffee and Plants. His name is AC. Mm -hmm. Super sweet. He started explaining everything here and even gave Zoe a puppuccino. <laughs> yeah, it was so cute. So this puppuccino is actually a coconut whipped cream and there's a vegan cookie at the bottom of it. He was super sweet. He didn't even like say he was the owner or anything. We kind of found out later. We're like, wait, are you the owner? <laughs> yeah. I just thought he was a regular customer here because he's like, hey, give me a puppuccino. <laughs> so, so Zoe was super happy, of course, that she got like this special treat. So yeah, the puppuccino is actually on their menu. It's, uh, it's $3, which usually coffee shops don't charge for puppuccinos, but this place, I get it. Like they really put effort into, you know, having healthy treats for puppies. So they do the coconut based whipped cream and a vegan, vegan cookie. cookie. Yeah, and everything here is vegan based. So um, whatever you order, they actually have pastries. They um, come from the Good Good, uh, was it the Good Good, good, good bakery. bakery? Yeah, and she makes all um, vegan based pastries and the drinks are too. So yeah, it's if you're a vegan, this is a fantastic place to come. Yeah. And even yeah. if you're not. Yeah, and the owner is awesome. He just told us that it opened in December 2019. So it was like right before the pandemic hit. So he had, had struggled a little bit, but then, you know, bounced back up because this place is really popular. We keep yes. on seeing people going in and out, um, yeah. people sitting outside, indoors. So definitely stop by here because it's cute. The He's owner is awesome. Super dog friendly, and he has dogs too, and so he understands that you want to take your dog everywhere and take pictures with it. So yeah, I really like that. He's a dog dog owner too. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, doesn't have to be a dog. You it know, be a cat. He said he's seen people bring their cats. An iguana. Maybe not a peacock though, because <laughs> <laughs> he says it takes up a lot of room. Yeah. <laughs> concept of everything I love the owner so yeah definitely stop by if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to watch more of our videos please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching Bye.